Okay, welcome to Collie Biology. We're going to review the ear together for Biology 112, the structures that you're responsible for. First, we want to start with the external ear. The entire external ear portion, anything that you would clip or pierce, is what we refer to as the pinna. An alternate term for the pinna is the auricle. That includes the lobe of the ear. The hole into the ear is going to lead to the auditory canal. Auditory canal is lined with glands that secrete earwax. The auditory canal brings the sound in. That sound is transferred then to the tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane is the technical term for our eardrum. Within the middle ear, we have a series of bones. There are three bones, and when we talk about all three together, we call them the ossicles. Ossicles, os means bone, but when we think about them individually, they're the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. Those three bones in order. If we look at this particular structure and pull it out, okay, the tympanic membrane is the membrane on the inside. The first bone, the malleus, is going to be the bone that goes straight to the center of the tympanic membrane. That's the first bone in the series, that's the malleus. Then this entire bone, has got a sort of a weird shape here, that's bone number two, that's the incus. And then the third bone in association is this bone, looks like a stirrup, little triangle, that's the stapes. And what happens is these bones connect one, two, three to transmit the sound throughout the ear. These loops, there are three of them, those are the semicircular canals. Semicircular canals assist us with, with dynamic equilibrium. There are three canals, there's one in each plane of motion, three-dimensional world, three ways to move, three semicircular canals. The semicircular canals themselves will end in this portion of the ear. We call that the vestibule. So literally follow the semicircular canals around and what they attach to, that big bulbous portion underneath there, is the vestibule. Coming off of the vestibule is this very distinctive coiled-like structure. That's where we have the hair cells associated with our sense of hearing. That's the cochlea. It can also be pronounced cochlea. Cochlea literally means snail shell, so we see that coiled appearance. And coming off the back of the cochlea is the auditory or cochlear nerve. That nerve is ultimately going to connect up with the brain, sending information about sound. One other structure we find in the ear, and this is off of the middle ear, is this structure. This is what we refer to as the auditory tube. It's also called the eustachian tube. It's also called the pharyngotympanic tube. But this ultimately is going to be what, our, what makes our ears pop. That's what's equalizing pressure between the outer air tissue and the inner air pressure. That's the auditory tube on the inside and the auditory canal on the outside.